Welcome to the Fox 56 High School Sports Extra presented by Don Marshall Auto. He's Brian Milam. I'm Dan Reefer. District play beginning for many teams tonight, including Henry Clay. The Blue Devils have not beaten District foe Scott County since 2010. And most of them have been close. Since that 2010 loss to Henry Clay, the Cardinals are 25-1 and against Lexington schools, including six straight over the Blue Devils. Let's get to the highlights brought to you by Mr. Electric. That Henry Clay star awesome. running back Joquise Buford out last week. Jim McKee had the card ready to go. Let's do it. Speaking of Mr. Buford, how about 89 yards? He, oh, just another walk in the park. Game he, tied at 7-7. He got there in a hurry. He was back in a big way. Cardinals say it's over. Then Kendrick Hamilton, all right, Hamilton, around the end for a 12-yard <laughs> TD run. 14-7, Scott County next possession. Josh Davis will keep it himself again around the left side, about 12 yards out. Scott County just puts a whooping on him. 63-35, cards win big. Nice appearance by uh, Spicoli there. Oh, Ryan Station without star QB Andre Davis against the Dunbar team that's won three straight. Bulldogs trailed 13-0 at the half, but open the third quarter with a drive. Station's Kei Carmichael is a drive stopper. Comes up with the fourth down sack to get the ball back for the defenders. And then it's Kei's brother, KC Carmichael, finding a hole and going airborne to the two-yard line. Well, then after a sack, Quentin Floyd tossing it up. Dunbar's Braxton Edge wins the jump ball. Bulldogs got it back. But Bryant Station holds on to win 19-7. Now Lafayette already has one player committed to UK. Offensive lineman Landon Young and Mark Stoops would like to add a couple more generals to the roster if he can. Yeah, Kentucky offered a scholarship to Lafayette dual threat quarterback Walker Wood this week to match the one that five-star offensive lineman Jedrick Wills has. Both Wood and Wills are juniors. Wood is only 200 yards rushing shy of eclipsing 1,000 yards, both rushing and passing for a second straight year. It's just an awesome opportunity. Me and Jed have been talking about going to school since we were 10 years old, playing at Southland Park and then playing at Douglas Park together. We've been, we've been together a long time, and just thinking about it, it's awesome. So I can't wait to see how it uh, rolls out. I think it's a versatility. He's, he's a very intelligent football player. Uh, that brings a lot of uh, intangibles to, the, to that program or any program he decides to go to. Wood and the Generals hosting Clark County tonight. We pick it up in the second quarter. Hey, guess who? The senior QB, Wood. Look out. He does what he does. Oh, get over there. Racing down. Look at the cutback. Going down the sideline and then the big cutback lane. He goes in for a touchdown. And then Wood, this time, looking to pass. <laughs> Fred, Fred Tarkin. He just tosses it up. Quentin Brown, oh <laughs> baby, a beautiful spiral wow. and everything. He's all alone for a touchdown, and it's Lafayette big, 43-13. District opener for Madison Central and Tate's Creek, my man Chewbacca, that's his name, wearing the Jerry Lawler crown on homecoming. Oh, Third quarter tied at seven. Creek's Peyton Burke picked off by Dante Altamirano. Later in the third, it's Johan Williams powers it in, 14-7 Indians. Burke back to throw later in the third. The pass will be tipped. Diving grab oh. by Corian Cryer, but as it is in television, Tate's Creek does nothing when the cameras are there. <laughs> they win it in overtime, 21-14. Lexington Catholic coming off its first shutout loss in more than five years, hoping to bounce back against Western Hills tonight. Didn't take the Knights long to get things going. Opening kickoff, Andy Thompson. Next thing you know, all he sees is daylight. You're not going to catch him. He's going the distance. <laughs> He's going for speed. Later in the first quarter, the Knights are on their own 13. Kirk Fago finds a wide open J.J. Ogboku. 87 yards. Lexington Catholic on the board once again all nights tonight. 49-14 winners over Western Hills. Boyle County and Garrett County high schools are separated by less than 15 miles, yet the two programs have not played one another since 2000, and the Rebels won that game 73-30. to You know, that was former Garrett County head coach Jeff Hester's final game with the Golden Lions, and this is the cool part. The very next year, Hester was hired by Chuck Smith at Boyle County, and he's been with the Rebels ever since. <laughs> so for the first time since Hester was Garrett's coach 15 years ago, he returns to Boyle, already up 21-0. Josiah Robbins dumps it over the middle to Mr. Cox. He, he's in Every week, man. He does all the heavy lifting. 46 yards, 28. Nothing Rebels still in the second. Robbins. Oh, it's Corey Swanner going to let everybody else play. He bulls his way in from five yards out. Rebels. Wow. 48 nothing over the Golden Lions. 
Pulaski County visiting Death Valley. To face Lincoln County, didn't take the Maroons long to get on the board. Riley Hall with a great play fake, and then going up top to Travis Bouchard in stride. 62-yard pitch and catch. Sevens it, Pulaski County. Still in the first, the direct to Brandon Goodling. Oh, I love it when a big guy scores. The offensive lineman slash defensive nose tackle is in the end zone for six. Yeah, 56-6 Maroons. Mark Stoops and his kids, along with UKO line coach John Schlarman at Woodford County tonight to see the Cats commit Drake Jackson, but Anderson County with the early highlights. Gunnar Gillis on the play action, sucks in the defense, leaving Ryan Martin wide open Beautiful for the pass. score. 7-0 Bearcats. Next Anderson County possession, Gillis, while he's flushed from the pocket, he tucks it and takes it 27 yards down the sideline before he goes down. Gunner's a runner. That sets up another Bearcats TD by Tyler Peters. Anderson County jumped out to a 21-0 first quarter lead. Woodford County came back, though. The Bearcats avoid their first four-game losing streak since 2005 with the 35-26 win. Bourbon County hosting Holmes, and it's Marquez Hill. 16 yards out, busted one right up the middle. Doesn't take the Colonels long to put six on the board. Bourbon County, no trouble. 41-14, BC rolls on up on the hilltop at Harrison County. The Brad's welcoming winless Mason County. Brock Jenkins for Harrison deep to Jovan Williams. That's good for great yardage. So such great yardage, it's a thoroughbred touchdown. <laughs> Harrison County, 29. Mason County, the struggles continue. Seven. At one other score of note, Spencer County undefeated this season, 7-0 and for the first time ever. Maybe ever, yeah. yeah. Spencer County's program, up-and-comer. Franklin County is now in that same district. Now, Franklin County beat Shelby County, which was also undefeated, passed that test in the district, then lost to Collins, and now turns around and loses to Spencer County tonight in a thriller, 47-42.